Hey, what's up? Hello, YouTube fam. Today we are discussing Pastor Michael Todd. Now, if you don't know who he is, he's a well-known American pastor and author of the popular book Relationship Goals. This was a book that everyone was talking about last year, I swear. I was almost going to read it, but then I didn't. <laughs> He seems to be one of the lead pastors of Transformation Church in Tulsa, Oklahoma. You can listen and watch many of his sermons on YouTube as it seems he's one of those pastors who's not only about preaching to the world, but also about collecting that coin. Now, I say that because when I first heard of this man from some friends, I felt inspired after hearing about his book and listening to some of his sermons. But while also listening closely, I had to give a little side eye because the way he was really trying to push those book sales, while I understand he's a businessman, he's also a pastor. And sometimes I get a little iffy about listening to the words of people who are very much working to also put money in their pockets. I'm not saying he's a bad guy or anyone is wrong for listening to him or choosing to support him. I'm just saying for me personally, it is a little hard for me to trust pastors that preach to masses like this, especially in this day of social media and fame. So Pastor Mike Todd has been trending recently as he held a service and during his sermon, he collected a bunch of his own spit into the palm of his hands and he wiped it all over his brother's face but you hit <laughs> and this is where most people would not face jesus anymore What I'm telling you is just as he's physically standing here, knowing what's coming. God's saying, can you physically and spiritually and emotionally be able to stand when getting the vision or receiving it might get nasty because the vision I'm about to give you, it might get nasty. And do you, do you hear and see the responses of the people? Hey, you get your fucking hands <laughs> off me. <laughs> the COVID was in there somewhere. God bless. But that COVID was in there. God bless. Nasty. Disgusting. I'm gagging. I am throwing up. Okay, that's all I can take, honey. If you want to see the full video, I'm sure y'all can find it on Twitter or some other site, but that's all I'm going to play right here. Now, apparently this whole stunt was in reference to a Bible passage in which Jesus restored a blind man's sight by rubbing his own spit over a man's eyes. And while I understand the message that Mike Todd was trying to give... We all know this ain't it, sir. This ain't it, okay? You are not Jesus. There is a difference. That is the difference. So now, people over Twitter were disgusted as we all should be. And many people mentioned the fact that we're in a pandemic, but panoramic or not, you do not put your spit on someone else's face. It's nasty. It's disgusting, period. Okay. One woman even tweeted that she knew she couldn't support Mike Todd when he mentioned during a sermon that domestic violence is not a reason to get a divorce. Not even he hit me. I don't condone that. The Bible says leave the house. Oh, y'all about to be real mad if y'all don't read y'all Bible. <laughs> but that's not the reason to leave the marriage. See, it's 2022. No one should be putting their hands on their spouse, male or female, honestly. But best believe if I was married and my husband hit me, it's a wrap. The times of dealing with that BS have come to an end and no one should stand for that anymore. I promise you, God is okay if you want to get that divorce. I'm sure you will still get accepted to heaven. 
Since seeing all the backlash, Michael Todd has come out with an apology video of some sort, if you want to call it an apology. Anyways, take a look here. I watched it back and um, it was disgusting. <laughs> like that was gross. I want to validate everybody's feelings um, that that was a distraction to what I was really trying to do. And to anybody who just saw that three minute clip, I really encourage you to go back and watch the whole message. There's some truth and some life in there that could potentially change your whole life. Um, when Jesus uh, spit on that man, he was blind and then he could see. Um, for my brother who I love and uh, honor so much, I just called him. He was bald before I spit on him and he's still bald today. So no miracle here. And uh, so next time I'll rethink and do something differently. I love everybody. I'm praying for everybody. And uh, Transformation Nation, thank you for writing. Again, sir, you are not Jesus. So yeah, that didn't work. Definitely need to rethink, double think, triple think, maybe check with someone beforehand before your next sermon. Obviously, this was appalling. Many people who didn't know of Mike Todd are now seeing this as a first impression. As I've already mentioned that I don't really support this man. For me, he's doing too much and I just don't trust it. But those are my thoughts and reaction on this topic. What do you guys think of this? Feel free to leave a comment below. Like this video if you liked it. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you all in the next video.